Welcome back. 412-575-2600 on the Bordis and Bordis hotline. That's where we're taking your phone calls and answering your tweets at Josh Taylor HD. We start back on Twitter with Robert, who says he's watching the Pirates in spring training. He thinks Melky Cabrera should get the nod to cover for Gregory Polanco. You know what? Given the fact that Gregory Polanco is so far ahead of schedule, I think Melky Cabrera in that short span of time actually makes a lot of sense. I don't mind that at all. Because you got a veteran bat, you know what he can do, and he actually hasn't shown too badly in the opportunities he's gotten. Now, some people will tell you it's spring training. Don't get too mixed up about spring training. But I'm not looking at the results as much as I'm looking at what he's doing, the things that he's doing, how he's approaching his at-bats. That's the thing that sticks out to me. And he looks like he's actually pretty comfortable at the plate right now. So in a short sample to fill in until Gregory Polanco is fully ready to go and maybe late April or early May, I think that makes a lot of sense. Now, where he hits in the lineup is probably a different situation because you're going to have to juggle where who's who's going to take that third spot in the lineup? Does someone have to move down? Does that become a Starling Marte or a Jung Ho Gung situation? Do you put Gung fourth and Josh Bell third? That's where you start to measure where this line is going to stack up because Melky Cabrera is a bat that can help you in the interim, but he's not going to be a middle of the order guy. So everything else is going to have to shift in that regard. But I do like the thought of Melky Cabrera at least filling in until Gregory Polanco is ready to go. Let's go to Mike in North Versailles. Mike, you're on the nightly sports call. Oh, outstanding. Thank you for taking my call, Josh. Appreciate you. Um, I think Michigan State is the team to beat the NCAA tournament, but I call because of the Bucks. You answered one of my questions, how long Polanco is going to be out, but I'm pretty optimistic about my Pirates this year. I think we can win 88 to 91 games. Tell me what you think, Josh. Let me hear you. I'm in the Thank same you. boat. I'm in the same number, and thanks for the call. Uh, Michigan State, I say the same thing about Michigan State every year, and people think I'm saying this as an insult. I'm saying this as a compliment. Tom Izzo, what he's able to do with that roster every year, it seems like he goes to, what, at least the Sweet 16 on average every year. I always joke that Tom Izzo is a wizard and that he might be the head of house for Slytherin in Harry Potter. Some people think that's an insult. That's a compliment. What he's able to do every season is mastery. That dude is a wizard as far as how he takes a roster that might not be as well-ranked, that might not be as highly rated as some of the other blue bloods in college basketball. He makes a pretty good run. We're talking maybe, you know, second round, sweet 16 on average every season. The one thing I like about Tom Izzo, and this is something that we kind of discovered a couple years back, he tells his players, if you win the first game, I'll win the second game for you. Basically, they get to the tournament. He's already looking at scouting the second game and the two potential opponents that they can face. So he tells them, you guys win the first game. I'll win the second game for you. And I think that's a formula that's really added up to them being a team that finishes or at least gets themselves in the Sweet 16 quite a bit. Now, what happens past that? A little bit of a dice roll. But I do like what Izzo does every year. As far as the Pirates, 88 to 91 wins. That's the number I'm kind of sitting at right now. Um, That would be the high end for me. Uh, in this division, though, I'm looking at them finishing probably either in the middle or towards the bottom of the division because I think Milwaukee has found ways to reload. I think the Cubs are still good. I think St. Louis found new ways to reload. I, I make this joke all the time. You can't out Cardinal the Cardinals. Well, they went and got Paul Goldschmidt, and they got Andrew Miller. So they found ways to do new Cardinally things. Got to take a break. We're wrapping up. We're coming back. See you later.